a very pleasant morning to esteemed principal sir cherished faculty members parents and my dear students we are celebrating 73rd republic day today wishing you all a very happy republic day the celebration of republic day is going to be a bit different from the past due to pandemic let us leave 2021 behind and strive to take india to the new heights in 2022 lekar saas muthi mein jhuka gayi himalay ko haath se tham tiranga amar kar gayi jo khud ko lahu seech kar ke phir bana gayi samriddh bharat उन वीर देश के जवानों को हम याद करेंगे युगो युगो सल्यूटिंग इंडिया वेर इज बट ब्लूम्स इन इट्स थ्री ओ कलर्स वेर इज डे इन सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ यूनिटी हारमोनी एंड सिंथेसिस सल्यूटिंग द ब्रीव हर्ट्स हु मेड द सुप्रीम सेक्रीफाइस टू सर्विस टू द नेशन saluting indian armies in indomitable courage valor and sacrifices on 26 january 1950 a salute of 21 guns and the unfurling of the indian national flag by dr rajendra prasad heralded the historic birth of indian republic and every year we indian feel pride while seeing the national flag is unfurling on this day First of all we would request to our principal sir to hoist the national flag pride of our country and enlighten us with his precious words as we begin with the event good morning same parents my dear colleagues and my beloved children 
at the outset, I wish you all a very happy Republic Day. I offer my richest tributes to the Nazis, the freedom fighters, who sacrificed their lives to snatch freedom from the bitters. I pay my homage to the martyrs of various wars in their fought to the impure Indo Pak War, Sino India War. Kargil War and the recent war, that of Galban Valley. I salute to the soldiers, the army personnel, those who spend their trials days and nights to defend our country. They never mind to work with due dedication and sincerity in Extreme conditions of minus 25 to 30 degrees Celsius temperature and somewhere plus 50 degree temperatures. We are safe, we are free because they have been ceaselessly doing their duty, which is a big inspiration for all of us. It was on 26th January 1950 that the Constitution of India was adopted. This has been a historic event. to have our own constitution. Which gives us the set of rules the Indians must follow by discharging our duties. India is a vast country. With 28 states and 8 Jordan territories. From north to south and from east to west, there lies a lot of diversity. may be regional languages, may be the customs and traditions, may be the life conditions, may be the vegetations grown, may be the eating habits, but in spite of all diversity, we are one. And the binding force we derive from the preamble, which begins with the word, we the people. It is not just 
today that we should be proud of the constitution rather every day and every moment we must be honored to have our constitution the indian constitution in all this here it has been a big challenge for a government like our to meet the need of a huge population of such a vast country a population of around 1.38 billion it is a fact that we have to depend on the foreign supply the foreign country in order to meet our needs in various sectors made the food grains made the cereals made the defense equipments made the weaponry made the equipments for space technology made the medicine made the construction india used to be an importer but today we are exporters with a huge production of buffer stock we are able to export our food grains to other countries and that has been possible by dint of the green revolution you all but it's a fact that we require another green revolution in order to meet the ever increasing today india is able to both the weaponry made be the missiles agni prithvi brahmos or made be the super fighter plane patriots some more than 40 42 countries are in the queue to buy our products one sector which makes us more more proud like anything is the space technology it was a time when india used to be called as snake charm by foreign countries mostly the west and today is just suppose it india has become the space charm having had its own technology indigenous technology and not only that india has launched many satellites of other countries including us and russia
India used to be called Vishnu Guru once upon a time. But this has been a big setback that we have lost that position. But there lies a big reason. After independence, in these 75 years, India largely depended on the foreign education policy made by its national. We could not have the one that could be appropriate and be everything. for our needs. But it's a proud moment that recently the government with a huge brainstorming session during has been able to come up with a new education framework that is and this is possible because of the unstinted support of the Indian scientists, Indian philosophers, Indian teachers, Indian teachers, the parents, and also the students, having mental towards new education policy. Let's come back that education must develop not only the cognitive Traditional literacy and also the high order cognitive capacities such as critical thinking and problem solving. But it must also be able to nurture the ethical. and the disposition. Then only it will again become the wish for the It is a clear goal for all of us as the teachers, as teachers, as students, as parents, to discharge our duty towards this mighty, mighty goal. This and my message to all of you. Wish you once again a happy Republic Day. Jai Hind, Jai Ma. Thank you.
Thank you so much, sir, for your valuable words. The whole country is in debt to Corona warriors who have taken risks and even given their lives to protect others. Let me pay tribute to them and pray to God for them and their families. Here, we would call Rona to deliver a speech. Happy public day to my respected principal sir and all my respected teachers and my beloved friends. Today, 26 January, we all celebrate this day as our Republic Day. On this day, India was declared as a Republic country. The first Republic Day of India was celebrated in Major Dhyan Chand Stadium. Many personalities came into this celebration. Today, it is our national responsibility to celebrate 26 January as the Republic Day. As we are Indian, we should always respect our country. And today, I can freely say that I am proud to be an Indian. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Ronak. From the Himalayas to the Indian Ocean, desert of third in the snowy mountain of Sikkim, India is a country full of beautiful landscapes and beautiful people. India is a unique country with diversity. We planned to dance to the famous beats of patriotism and the song is Des Rangila Rangila. flag of India is something that the nation has earned. Let us tear of love and respect for Bharat Ki Beti through this song. 
when a woman is given all the chances to live her life, she can fly. Our girls are super strong and are the fiber of our nation. fighting against all the social discrimination and changing our thoughts. Women are becoming self-employed and are achieving success in all the things. Jai Hind! Wonderful performance. Thank you very much. Jara Shargo Gato Tara Ekhano Jane Shargir Che Priyo John Mubhumi Esha Shadish Brote Shahodik Khalubi शे मृत्युन जोई देर चौरों नो चुमी आज शे मृत्युन जोई देर सौदा क्या पुने दिन रिपब्लिक डे सच ए बिगेस्ट मोमेंट फॉर ऑल इंडियन टू रिकॉल द कंट्रीब्यूशन एंड सेक्रिफाइस ऑफ ग्रेट लीडर्स वी वुड लाइक टू कॉल अरुणिमा फॉर ए स्पीच शताब्दियों की परतंतता के उपरांत भारत 15 अगस्त 19 स्वतंत्र होने पर देश के कर्णधारों ने भारत के नवीन संविधान को लागू किया। तभी से भारत का सर्वोच्च शासक राष्ट्रपति कहलाया। भारत का नवीन संविधान 26 जनवरी 1950 को लागू किया गया और यह दिन भारत का गणतंत्र दिवस कहलाया। भारत इस संविधान के अनुसार गणराज्य घोषित किया गया और तभी से 26 जनवरी का दिन प्रति वर्ष कनेक्टेंट दिवस के रूप में सारे भारतवर्ष में बड़ी धूमधाम से मनाया जाने लगा। 26 जनवरी की तिथि का स्वतंत्रता संग्राम के इतिहास में अपना विशेष महत्व है। सन 1930 में रावी नदी के तट पर कांग्रेस के लाहौर अधिवेशन में स्वर्गीय पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू ने पूर्ण स्वतंत्रता की घोषणा की। 26 जनवर हम पूर्ण रूप से स्वतंत्र स्वतंत्रता प्राप्त न कर लेंगे तब तक हमारा स्वतंत्रता आंदोलन चलता रहेगा और इसे प्राप्त करने के लिए हम अपने प्राणों की आहुति दे देंगे इसी कारण 26 जनवरी का दिन ही भारत के गणतंत्र की घोषणा के लिए चुना गया 26 जनवरी 1950 को भारत पूर्ण रूपे गणतंत्र राज्य घोषित लॉर्ड माउंटबेटन गवर्नर जनरल के स्थान पर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद हमारे राष्ट्र के प्रथम राष्ट्रपति बने। आज भी यह पर बड़ी धूमधाम से मनाया जाता है। इस दिन भारत की राजधानी नई दिल्ली में राष्ट्रपति की राजकीय सवारी निकाली जाती है। विजय चौक पर राष्ट्रपति जी जल, थल एवं वायु सेना की सलामी लेते हैं। तीनों सेनाओं की 
मार्च करती हुई लाल किले तक पहुंचती हैं। अनेक प्रांतों से आए लोक नर्तक अपनी अपनी वेशभूषा में अपने अपने लोक नृत्य प्रदर्शन तथा विभिन्न प्रकार की झांकियों से अपनी प्राचीन संस्कृति व प्रगति का परिचय देते हैं 26 जनवरी की साय को आतिशबाजी छोड़ी जाती है तथा रात्रि के समय सरकारी भवनों पर रोशनी की जाती है देश के सभी गाँव नगरों स्कूलों व कॉलेजों में सभाएं की जाती हैं। इन सभाओं में देश की एकता अखंडता व स्वतंत्रता को बनाए रखने की प्रतिज्ञा की जाती है इस प्रकार 26 जनवरी 1950 को देश में अपना संविधान अपना राष्ट्रपति अपनी सरकार तथा अपना राष्ट्रीय ध्वज हो जाने पर भारतवर्ष संसार का सबसे बड़ा गणतंत्र राष्ट्र बन गया एकजुट है हम एकता हमारा अभिमान है वीर जवानों के बलिदानों को हमारा प्रणाम है और गर्व से बोलो हम सब हिंदुस्तान की संतान हैं जय हिंद भारत माता की जय थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑन द पीक्स ऑफ द हिमालय द स्ट्रेचेस ऑफ डिजर्ट डेंस फॉरेस्ट एंड डेप्थ ऑफ सीज द वेलर ऑफ आवर सोल्जर्स हैज ऑलवेज ट्राइम टू एवरी चैलेंज we respect for sacrifice soldiers have made for us let's celebrate what they do for us and enjoy the next performance which is a patriotic song ye hausla kaise chhuke here we welcome shantuki and let's us enjoy the performance ye hausla kaise chhuke ye was a heart touching performance thank you shantuki today we all pray for india's advancement rising as a powerful nation leading the world in the years to come our initiators gave us a glorious past we need to create the future here we end today's program once again happy republic day 
Good morning. I would like to present the vote of thanks. It's a matter of pride for me that I got a chance to thank everyone present here. On behalf of dear fraternity, I extend my sincere thanks to the Almighty for making today's event a grand success. I would like to thank our respected principal sir for being catalyst that simulated us to do our best with deep sense of appreciation. I thank our loving teachers for their untiring efforts. My sincere gratitude goes out all parents and well wishers for their rock solid support and encouragement. Finally, I would like to thank our beloved students that made this event joyful with their impressive performances. Last but not the least, a big thank you to each of you who are watching this program and made this celebration memorable. Once again, happy Republic Day. जय हिंद जय भारत